Hello and welcome to another edition of the Gravestone Pros here in North Country Memorials. We are so glad that you've joined us today. It's going to be a good one, so come along. Guys, today's video is going to be just a little bit different. Dad was working on a few different things and he was just kind of chatting and talking and so I decided I didn't want to cut it out and edit it up too much so I'm going to let a lot of it just run. Uh, hopefully you will enjoy it. Maybe a little slower paced than some of the videos but I think you'll enjoy hanging out with Dad. Doing a little modification. I'm getting ready to uh, do some etching here at some point and uh, if you remember uh, the middle of the summer I think it was, doesn't matter anyway, uh, built another table and uh, this one here I had at the fairs. Uh, I think I had both of them in Malone because I had uh, multiple stuff to do. Anyway, uh, the one thing that I wanted to do was put handles on either side. Not sure if I want one handle on each side or two handles on each side, we're gonna figure that out. So one thing that I was thinking about today these little fixes uh, these little quick fixes that you do to to try and improve your life I don't know why we don't do them sooner it's like, well, I'll get to that at some point. Well, the thing is, they tend to improve your quality, uh, your ease of workload. And a lot of times it's, it's when you're super busy that you're coming up with the idea because we're busy doing whatever, usually it's, it's production when you think of it. So you're busy doing production and so you keep on producing because you know what happens if you interrupt. What you think is gonna take 20 minutes takes an hour and 20 minutes. I just realized that the sooner you do it, the sooner you have help in that situation that you know may Get you further down the road and it doesn't always it's just, I mean, there's a lot of things i've done i thought well this will improve and then eventually i find myself tearing it out i'm just always trying to improve and i think there i think there's value in it in the long run when i look at all the little things that i add um, that yeah they just make sense they make sense all right so now i see i've got my nails that i use to hang my uh, etching tools on which are in the, they're not in a good spot because I want to put the handle here, but they're also not in a good spot for when I'm using them. They just don't seem to be working right. So I got to modify them anyway. You know, if you're like me, I get frustrated with packaging because it seems it about takes a college education to, to uh, get it open. I understand why they do it. Uh, the presentation's better. Um, I'm pretty sure that there's less theft, um, harder to put the, put the package in your pocket than it is to put just the handle if they were all hanging there. So these are door pulls. I'm always using things that uh, weren't made for the specific use, but they work. You know, you just gotta, you just gotta open your eyes and think a little when you're doing stuff like this. You monument guys out there, if you started a business from the ground, you are an entrepreneur and you know, you just, you gotta make things Sometimes you just have to make things do. And we're not all built for that, apparently. In my mind, it's like, well, geez, if I can come up with it, somebody else ought to be able to. 
but we don't always, we're just all built different, and that's fine. That's a, not a bad thing. One thing I think an entrepreneur has to have is, or it's helpful to have, and that is the thought in their mind that I can figure it out, or I'll try anything. The thing is, you, an entrepreneur then needs to be coupled with a uh, an engineer type that figures things out. That's always helpful too. Figures things out ahead of time because sometimes things need to be specced out. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this content and you want to help out, the best way to do so is leave a comment and subscribe. We appreciate it. These big stones. Doesn't matter how you try it. It's a t often a two-man job. There we go. That's a lot of weight right there. Uh, 1,800 maybe pounds. So, yeah. You just got to be careful anyway. Got it. The handles, I think I'll put two more in the back because here I can pull it out of here and uh, then I can be on the side and twist it if need be. So, yeah, definitely uh, options are a good thing in this situation. All right. Uh, one other part to this job, and I might as well do it now. Um, is getting this rubber off of here. We like to save our rubber for overblast. So we do a lot of that. Uh, you can use other things for overblast too. Um, I like used rubber, I guess, because it's it's stretching your dollar a bit further, which is always a good thing to your bottom line. And it's yeah, okay, it's pennies. For sure here but at the same time over time pennies add up pennies add up This is a job that grandkids, the older ones, can do. It's not an easy job. I'm sure I've said it different times. I used to pay my kids a dollar per stencil. And here's a, this is an interesting tidbit along that line. Uh, if you are just starting out and every dollar is stretched, uh, if you're like us, we were not borrowing to operate at all. Uh, so literally what we had, it's what we had. We didn't have to, it wasn't pseudo uh, provision, pseudo uh, Yeah, pseudo provision. It wasn't that. What we had is what we had, and what we didn't have, we didn't have. And sometimes 
even a dollar per side of a stone felt like a lot to pay kids when you're training them to work. Um, so they don't have to have, they don't have to have remuneration for their work. And they did a lot of work without remuneration. That's part of being in a family. So I don't like to pay my kids for everything. Didn't like to. But having said that, for them to realize that I work a certain amount, I earn a certain amount, um, there's definitely some value in that. So I would just encourage you along the line, you know, don't overpay your kids, but, but don't not pay them either, if you can. I mean, if a younger kid can earn a buck for something, and they, they've got, to them, that dollar is a lot, good, then that's what you pay. Some of them figure out, hey, you know, more money, more funny, <laughs> but <clears throat> whatever it takes, teach your kids how to handle money. Back when I was a kid, <clears throat> 60s and 70s, I got an allowance. And I, it wasn't associated with my work done. It was associated with, it was an allowance. It was a privilege. Now, before you think, well, geez, shouldn't your parents have taught you what I just got done saying, well, trust me, it was a stipend. <clears throat> the, uh, I don't think it ever got higher than uh, 50 cents a week. And I started at around 10 cents a week. And growing up in the family I grew up in, we were trained that you give a tithe, which is one-tenth of your income. So I understood from a young child that every, every dime I had was actually nine cents. And that Jesus was getting a penny of that. And so it went in the Sunday school offering at church. They put a lot of value on teaching children young, and that's a lot of wisdom. You start training your children the moment they're born. There's always things you can be training them in. That's conversation for another time. But Well, that was brilliant. But we got it. We got it. Anyway, this is turning into wisdom tidbits from Kurt. The thing that my parents didn't do was involve me in looking over my money, um, understanding. I just didn't know how to handle it. And when I got older, um, they just told me, your money's going in the bank. That's the way it is. Uh, and I definitely am a spender. I'm very loose with money. It doesn't mean a lot to me. I don't pile it up. Uh, I appreciate being able to use it, not just to purchase things. Lately, I keep on my debt, my personal money that is my money to, to uh, use however I want to. Um, I keep 
if I buy something with my debit card, do you want cash back? Yeah, I'll take 20 bucks. I don't have any cash in my wallet. I still don't have any cash in my wallet because every time I turn around, I see somebody that has greater needs than I do, and I'm handing them that $20 bill. So, yeah. I don't resent that. I love it. I love being able to give. I'll tell you a story. I don't want to say who the person is because some of you may know the person, so I'll just tell the story. May not give the exact details, but I'll give the details that are needed. So, got invited out one time, got invited to meet friends uh, that we were all going out to lunch, and they said, Well, we're going over here, why don't you come join us? So, we did. And this man, I've known him many, 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 many years, has always been a very generous man um, with me and others around him. And I didn't accept the invitation because of I knew how what kind of a generous person he was, which isn't why I was going with him. I wanted to spend some time with him, but sure enough, uh, when the bill came, he took it. And, uh, and then a little bit later, he took off and uh, I saw him handing something to the waitress and by the look on her face, he had given her obviously a, a generous tip and uh, she, I saw her showing it to, to one of the other waitresses. And uh, uh, yeah, he just, again, he was always a very generous person and found out afterwards chatting with him, he said, yeah, he said, this was $100 tip day. He said, I carry some $100 bills with me and, and uh, just always try to be sensitive and, and uh, try to give where I can and be a blessing to someone. The Bible says it's more blessed to give than to receive. And uh, that's a challenge for me and a challenge for you. Guys, thank you for coming and hanging out with us here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was educational and maybe even a little entertaining. That's always the goal to make it both. I hope you enjoy just kind of sitting back, a little different video, uh, just kind of letting dad talk a little bit. Sometimes he gets a little rambly, but it's normally good stuff. So I thought I would just let it ride. I didn't do a whole lot of editing to it today. I just kind of let him cook. Hope you enjoyed. We will see you all next time. Thank you.